We wake up every day to get money. Have you ever stopped and wonder what you are running after? Well, it's time to take into consideration understanding what money really is. And how it works, this will save you whole lots of headaches. And you will start attracting money like a flower does to a butterfly rather than chasing it. Welcome to the Money and Business Entrepreneur. We will unveil what money is, how it works, how debt can make you rich, what you can do to attract money, and the secret you can use to become wealthy. What is money? Money is a complex and multifaceted concept that plays a pivotal role in the functioning of modern societies. Its evolution and impact on individuals, businesses, and nations have been profound, shaping the economic landscape and influencing human behavior. Understanding how money works involves delving into its origins, functions, forms, and the intricate systems that govern its flow. This video explores the intricacies of money, from its historical roots to its contemporary manifestations, shedding light on the mechanisms that drive economies and shape our daily lives. History of Money To comprehend how money works, it is essential to trace its origins back to ancient times when barter systems prevailed. The transition from barter to commodity money, such as precious metals, marked a significant step in the evolution of monetary systems. Over time, this gave rise to fiat money, which derives its value from the trust and confidence people place in the issuing authority, typically a government. The creation of money is facilitated through a process known as fractional reserve banking, where banks hold only a fraction of their deposits as reserves and lend out the rest, thereby expanding the money supply. The Role of the Central Banks Central to the functioning of money is the concept of inflation and deflation. Inflation the increase in the general price level of goods and services erodes the purchasing power of money over time. Central banks play a crucial role in managing inflation through monetary policy tools, such as interest rates and open market operations. Conversely, deflation, the decrease in the general price level, poses its own set of challenges, impacting consumer spending and economic growth. The global financial system, intricately connected through a network of banks, financial institutions, and markets, plays a vital role in the circulation and allocation of money. The stock market, for instance, provides a platform for companies to raise capital by issuing stocks, while bond markets enable governments and corporations to borrow money by issuing bonds. The foreign exchange market facilitates the exchange of different currencies, essential for international trade and investment. Moreover, the advent of digital currencies and financial technologies has revolutionized the way money operates in the modern world. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin leverage blockchain technology to enable decentralized and secure transactions. Central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, represent another frontier, with governments exploring the issuance of digital versions of their national currencies. Money is not only a medium of exchange, but also a store of value and a unit of account. Its functions are intricately tied to the broader economic concepts of consumption, investment, and savings. Individuals make choices about spending and saving money based on their preferences, income levels, and expectations about the future. Businesses rely on money for investments and operations, while governments use it to fund public services and manage fiscal policy. The role of financial institutions, including banks and credit unions, is paramount in the money ecosystem. These institutions facilitate the flow of money by providing a range of financial services, including loans, savings accounts, and investment opportunities. The concept of credit is integral to how money works, 
allowing individuals and businesses to borrow funds for various purposes, thereby stimulating economic activity. Money goes beyond coins and paper money. The notion that money is just paper is a compelling perspective that challenges conventional beliefs about currency. While traditional paper money, often backed by a government's promise and trust, serves as a medium of exchange, the underlying value is inherently subjective. Money's true essence lies in its representation of value and its ability to facilitate transactions. To illustrate this concept, one can point to alternative forms of money that extend beyond physical currency. Cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, have gained popularity as decentralized digital assets. Unlike traditional paper money, cryptocurrencies are based on blockchain technology, providing a transparent and decentralized ledger for secure transactions. The value of cryptocurrencies is not tied to physical assets or governmental promises, but rather to the principles of supply and demand in a decentralized network. Furthermore, it could be argued that real wealth extends beyond paper money or digital currencies. Tangible assets, investments, and productive resources contribute more substantially to one's long-term financial well-being. Real money, in this context, could be seen as the wealth generated through investments, properties, businesses, and other assets that have intrinsic value and the potential for appreciation. In encouraging the masses to reconsider the nature of money, it's essential to broaden the perspective beyond the physical representation of currency. By recognizing that the value of money is fluid and extends beyond its physical or digital form, individuals may be more inclined to explore alternative avenues for wealth creation, investment, and financial independence. Ultimately, the perception of money as just paper underscores the importance of understanding its fluid nature and seeking value in diverse forms to build enduring wealth. Is debt the new money? In the early 1970s, President Richard Nixon made a pivotal decision that profoundly influenced the dynamics of money. On August 15, 1971, he announced the suspension of the convertibility of the United States dollar into gold, effectively severing the link between the US dollar and the gold standard. This decision, known as the Nixon shock, marked a shift towards a fiat monetary system where the value of money is not backed by a physical commodity like gold, but rather derives its worth from the trust and confidence people place in the issuing government. Additionally, Nixon's administration introduced a new form of currency, fiat money not tied to any physical asset but based on the full faith and credit of the U.S. government. The transition away from the gold standard had profound implications, leading to the recognition that money, in its essence, is a form of debt. In a fiat money system, Money is essentially a promise or an obligation by the government to accept it as a means of payment for goods, services, and debts. This realization opens up opportunities for businesses to leverage financial strategies. Understanding that money is debt allows businesses to navigate the financial landscape more effectively. They can strategically utilize debt instruments such as loans and bonds to fund expansions investments, and operations. By employing sound financial management practices, businesses can leverage debt to generate returns that exceed the cost of borrowing, thereby contributing to wealth creation and growth. The key lies in judiciously managing debt, optimizing capital structure, and aligning financial strategies with the broader economic landscape. what you can do to attract money.
The concept of having full control over trapping money revolves around understanding the continuous circulation and movement of currency through various transactions. Money, as a medium of exchange, perpetually flows from one person to another in the economic ecosystem. The essence lies in recognizing that each transaction presents an opportunity to intercept, influence, or redirect the flow of money. Businesses and individuals with a keen understanding of this dynamic can strategically position themselves to intercept this constant movement of money. For instance, a business might implement innovative marketing strategies to attract consumers, creating a seamless flow of money towards its products or services. By identifying and capitalizing on the patterns of consumer spending, businesses can strategically position themselves as beneficiaries in the continuous circulation of money. Moreover, financial institutions and entrepreneurs can tap into the financial systems to influence the trajectory of money. Banks, for example, play a pivotal role in facilitating transactions, and by offering compelling financial products, they can attract deposits and channel funds to lucrative investment opportunities. Similarly, entrepreneurs who identify and meet market needs effectively can capture a share of the flowing money as consumers engage in transactions to fulfill their desires and requirements. In essence, Having control over trapping money involves a deep understanding of the dynamics of economic transaction. Businesses and individuals can leverage this understanding to strategically position themselves in the flow of money, intercepting it as it moves from one person to another. The key lies in identifying opportunities, providing value, and creating compelling reasons for money to circulate in their direction. This nuanced perspective underscores the importance of adaptability, market awareness, and strategic decision-making in the pursuit of capturing and directing the perpetual movement of money. The only secret formula to accumulate wealth One financial secret that eludes the majority of people pertains to the power of compounding. Albert Einstein famously referred to compound interest as the eighth wonder of the world. The secret lies in the ability of money to grow exponentially over time when reinvested or allowed to earn interest on both the principal and accumulated interest. The magic of compounding is best harnessed through long-term investments, where even small, regular contributions can snowball into substantial sums. The earlier individuals start investing, the more time their money has to compound, potentially leading to significant wealth accumulation. This financial insight underscores the importance of consistent, long-term investment strategies, demonstrating how small financial decisions made today can have a profound impact on one's financial future. What's your next strategy after knowing this? Leave that in the comments below. So there you have it, the whole truth you need to know about money. Hope the information in the video equipped you with a whole new perspective of looking at money. This is the money and business entrepreneur, your trusted source of all financial wisdom. Like the video, leave your comment and subscribe to join our community of enthusiastic entrepreneurs. Until next time, stay safe.